operating system is the base for computer system for proper functioning the goal of operating system is to make the computer system convenient to use in the concept of multi programming so the cpu is used to switch over between number of jobs in a queue dear students welcome to computer science classes i am ravi kumar kr lecturer in computer science vidyashram first grade college temple of excellence mysore students let us start our session with the chapter 1 that is introduction to computer system so here in this chapter we are going to cover the topics introduction to operating system types of operating system and functions of operating system now let us see what is the definition of operating system so operating system is a program that acts as an interface between the system hardware and the user it perform the functions of handling memory process the interaction between hardware and software this is a definition of an operating system we have learned already the definition of hardware definition of software different types of software and here this os is a system software so it is a system software and whenever you on the computer when you boot the computer so the first software is loaded is operating system so here operating system is the base for computer system i mean to say see whenever if you want to work with any of the software for example ms word or ms excel or powerpoint or a language like c c++ anything so first computer has to boot properly so in that process it loads the operating system from the computer memory so only after loading os then only we are able to work with the computer system so otherwise it is not possible for us to work with the computer system that is why so operating system is the base for computer system for proper functioning so here if we talk about operating system so then only we are able to work or access the application software which has been loaded in the computer system so in other words we can say it is an interface between the hardware as well as the user so here the hardware is the computer and in and over it we are going to load the operating system that is software that is system software then on top of it we are going to load or install application software and these application softwares are used by the user so that is why we say it is an interface between the system hardware as well as the user and along with that we have we are going to learn different functions of operating system so in other words we can say it is a system software which interacts with the user and the application program so it can also be defined as a set of programs which acts as an interface between the user and the computer so this is the basic definition of operating system now this is how we represent in diagrammatically user operating system and the computer now what is the purpose of operating system it's going to provide an environment in which the user can execute program so this is an interface so it provides an environment where a user can work with the system comfortably so the goal of operating system is to make the computer system convenient to use i mean it the system has to be used conveniently by the user next one is to use the computer hardware in an efficient manner and look at the examples of different operating system ms dos ms windows android ios mac os unix linux and ubuntu see these are the different uh, operating systems we have been using with computer system now this is structure of operating system so this is how we represent schematically the operating system and the hardware so here this is the place where we are talking about hardware we can talk about computer system so this is the a computer system along with computer peripherals and over it we are going to load our operating system 
it is a system software then on over over it on top of it we are going to load our application software so here we are going to load application software like c c++ or a tally and so on so this is how we represent the operating system with the computer system this is the hardware and over it we are going to do operating system it is the application software so and here the os it is an interface or is going to connect the application software or nothing but user and the computer system that is nothing but hardware so this is structure of operating system now in the next slide we will see what are the objective of operating system or nothing but goals of operating system one is convenience so it improves the use of a machine so with the help of operating system it is software which improves the use of computer hardware or computer peripherals next one is efficiency so it enables the efficient use of computer resources so if i say computer resources so it may be hardware resources or software resources and with the help of os so it is possible to use hardware as well as software efficiently now ability to evolve so it means that os should be designed such a way that it allow for the effective development testing and introduction of new features without interfering the service so in other words so the operating system it should provide an environment so that for different applications like software development or different types of testing and make use of different services of computer system so that is ability to evolve next one is management of system resources so if i say resources as i told you it may be a hardware resources or software resources and it guarantees that resources are shared fairly among various process and the users so this is these are all the different objective of operating system in the next slide we will see different types of operating system one is simple batch system operating system time sharing operating system embedded operating system multi programming network distributed multi processing and real time operating system see these are all different types of operating systems we are using in our day to day life now let us learn these definitions one by one so first one is simple batch system so simple batch system a type of operating system so this is a type of operating system they were using it in early days or earlier days or earlier computers especially with mainframe computers you know what are mainframe computers the mainframe computers i mean the setup was it was a very huge in size and it, they used to set up in one one place one location and the user they used to work with the sit around the system they used to work with different terminals so that is how the system was so i mean they were using these type of system during those days and here the large system run from a console so here the input devices were in the form of card readers and tape drives and output device in the form of printers on tape drives these are different io devices they were using it so what's the meaning of batch system here here the users of the system did not interact directly with the computer system rather than user prepared a job which consists of program data and control information and nature of job and submitted to the computer operator now let us see what is the meaning of a batch here so batch is nothing but it is a job or we can say it is a job here they we use the word job here so it is nothing but it contains a group of statements of for, for particular task or particular job we can say so here this one job is nothing but a one set of programs and this one batch or we say one batch it consists of a program for that particular task and data as well as in control information i mean 
the information or data to be and all these batch we have with this batch will be given to the computer operator so here the user he was not using or the user need not to directly interact with the computer system and everything is be through in the form of job or in the form of batch here the computer operator he used to input the data and the computer the i mean the system during those days they were processing these type of instructions or we can say it used to process a batch of programs and then it used to generate output that was the procedure in batch system operating system actually the job would usually be in the form of punched cards at some time or later they used to give the op i mean they used to produce the output after some time because they used to get the instructions or program data from the input devices like during those days for punched cards they they have to read it and then they had to they supposed to process it and the result output was not very immediately we used to get the out, output after some time and the output consists of consists the result of the program as well as the dump of memory and registers in case of program errors so here i mean along with the output it used to give along with some errors or some other information along with the output see this was a system like a batch processing operating system so in simple we can say that a batch processing is a batch is nothing but a set of programs or instructions for a particular task to be executed and during those days they used to give it they used to prepare a batch we can say the batch or we can say job and the computer used to process these jobs or batch one at a time and this batch consists of data program instruction and some other additional information so and all this will be used to given to the use the computer operator and he used to feed the data into the computer through punched cards and nowadays we can see the different examples for this type of operating system the food processing system and dairy processing and payroll and here another important point is once the job is given to computer operator till it computer completes his job or a batch i mean the, by the time the user need not to interact with the computer system or with the program or data so once the the batch programming uh, once it starts executing the batch so till it completes the batch so no other work supposed to be carried out so till the time user not supposed to interact with the computer system see this is a type of operating system next we'll uh, look into that multi program batch system so here multi programming system or multi programming batch system if i say multi program batch system means is nothing but there are more than one batch to be executed and this number of batch the computer operator he used to make the number of batches depending on the uh, task or the program to be executed and accordingly the computer processor they used to manage or execute different batch a group of batches one after another that is the concept of multi programming batch system so here the os simply switches to and execute another job if there are more than one job or more than one batch file so it used to the computer used to switch over from one to another job simultaneously it increases the cpu utilization by organizing the job such that cpu always has one to execute so if there are if there is only one batch to be executed or one program to be executed after completing the execution of one job so computer has to go for second job but in the concept of multi programming so the cpu is used to switch over between number of jobs in a queue so in that way the cpu utilization is very high now it the os keeps several jobs in the in a memory at a time these sets of job is subset of job 
kept in the job pool or in a we can say it is in a queue the processor will never be idle if there are more than one batches obviously the utilization of cpu time or we can say the processor never be idle so it will be keep on switching over to one to another batches or different jobs this is multi program batch system next op type of operating system is the sharing system multitasking system so here we can say multitasking so any if i say means more than one task what is the meaning of multitasking in simple we can say say whenever you are working with a computer system so we may be working with the application software like ms word or excel simultaneously we are listening to some other music from the same system so here listening to music is one task you are working on other application is one task and at the same time someone might have given printing command or print command so printer will be on so here there are more than one task to be executed simultaneously that is a concept of multitasking or sharing system so here this type of operating system that allows to connect many people located at different locations to share and use a specific system at a single time so this is a type of operating system which supports sharing of resources from a different location that is the advantage of this so and is shared by different users at a time now the time sharing os is a logical extension of the multi programming through which users can run multiple tasks concurrently so that's what i have given the example now similarly if there are more than one task to be executed the operating system it shares its resources for different tasks or different programs that is the concept of multi programming or time sharing or multitasking operating system it provides is you each user his terminal for input output that impacts the program or processor concurrently running on the system so in the concept of time sharing or multitasking again the computer the microprocessor or the cpu will never be idle it keeps on working uh, working switching over from one to another task and here here in this type of operating system the os it supports different users at different locations the users will he will not feel the difference between working with the system directly or the user or the programmer he never feels that it is working with another type of operating system now here it represents the cpu time shared between many user processor or the processor time that shared between the multiple user simultaneously nothing but time sharing here time sharing multi programming or multi processing multi programming multi tasking all these are related to each other and here in all the system the processor time if i say cpu time is nothing but the processor time is shared among different users or different programs so that is a concept of time sharing system and multitasking operating system next type of operating system is embedded operating system the embedded os is a specific purpose operating system used in computer systems embedded hardware and configuration so what do we mean of embedded the term embedded means embedded or embedded software is nothing but it is an additional program or additional hardware to be incorporated along with the computer system so here a very good example is a atm automatic teller machine and airplane system means traffic system and digital home assistants and the iot internet of things see these are all nothing but an embedded operating systems so simple definition of embedded is nothing but it is an additional software or a program will be incorporated with the computer system or application software this is embedded operating system next type of operating system is network operating system so here you know what is a network you know what is a computer network here we are going to connect different types of computers 
together it forms a computer network and in the computer network we may have different resources we are going to connect like switches routers and other network devices so it is a type of operating system it supports this type of computer network is is referred as network operating system so here it is an important category of the os that operates on the server using network devices like switch router etc so it is a type of operating system it will be installed in a computer network server computers or in a server system where it has been installed and is going to support a devices like switch router firewall and other resources so it provides a connectivity among autonomous operating system called as network operating system i mean it is a type of operating system it supports different hardware and software in a computer network is network operating system so it is also useful for sharing data files hardware devices and printer resources among multiple computers to communicate with each other so this is one of the goal of computer network see we are going for computer network because it is possible to share different data different types of data or generally we can say networking is the advantages of networking is the sharing of hardware and software resources among different computers which are connected to a computer network so this is network operating system in the next slide we will see multi processing operating system so as we have seen in the previous slide multi programming multitasking again in the same category we have multi processing operating system so here what is the definition of this here it refers to using of two or more cpu in a single computer system see generally what we use, we use computer generally there will be only one cpu if i say cpu we are talking referring to microprocessor generally there will be one processor so here if i say multi processing means there are systems or there may be chances of there are two or more processor in one computer system so if we just you can imagine that so the here there are two or three processor in the computer system and all the network resources or computer resources are shared by are shared by these two processors that is the concept of multi processing operating system or another name is parallel operating system so here with the use of this system the share computer bus clock memory and io devices for current execution of the process or program and resources management in the cpu here if i talk about more than one processor for example there are two processor so the two process in the two processor in a one computer system it shares the same bus system clock system and memory and io devices of the computer system so that is a concept of multi processing operating system in this system the computer resources are shared by two different processors simultaneously that is multi processing operating system in the next slide we will see what is rtos or real time operating system so here real time system is used when there are rigid time requirement on the operation of processor or flow of data and that is is often used as a control device in a dedicated application so it is a real time operating system it is a type of operating system or a computer system where we have to provide the data continuously and also the result will be output will be it is generating the output continuously depending on the input so for a very good example is our weather forecasting information so here to give the report of weather at, at every uh, every second of time so here for that particular input has to be feed continuously so depending on the input will get the output so that is an example for real time system or operating system which supports real time function that is real time operating system so here it has a well defined fixed time constraints 
and here the processing must be done within the defined constraints or system will fail. So according to this, here the processor will be given a specific time for completing the task or for processing. Suppose if the, if the processor don't get the input in time, the entire the process goes down or it will fail. The real time system is considered to be considered to function correctly only if it returns the correct result within any time constraint. So in general, the real time system is a type of operating system. It process the data or a continuous data. So it expects or the processor expects the continuous flow of data as input and it also provide the output or the information simultaneously. So this is a real time operating system. Next we will see what are all different functions of operating system in general. So first one is memory management. So you know what is a computer memory? So it is used to store information and data. So along with the instruction. So it allocates and deallocation of the memory and keeps record of which part of primary memory is used by the by whom and how much distribute the memory while multiprocessing. So the all this operation memory management is nothing but allocation and deallocation of space in a computer memory for a file of processing. Next one is processor management. So what is the processor management? So here the multi-programming environment, it decides which process gets the processor, when and how much time. This is called process scheduling or process management. So what you know what is a process? Process is the program in execution is called a process and processor management. So it is nothing but multi-processing operating system where it used to share the CPU time or hardware and software resources shares the CPU times of more than one processor. And here it determines the status of the CPU and process, select the job and its processor, allocates the processor to the process and deallocates the processor. So what's the meaning of this? So here responsibility of OS is any process to be executed. So it has to be allocated a space or memory and job and also the status of the processor and the process. This is another function, processor management. Next, device management. If I talk about devices, it can be input device, output device and memory devices. So it manages, OS manages device communication via their respective drivers and all the hardware devices will be having driver software or it has to be supported by driver's software. So it keeps track of all the devices and whether it, uh, if any, any of the hardware is not performing, it doesn't work, immediately will get a message, the particular device is not working. So that is the responsibility of operating system. It also allocates a device in efficient way and deallocates devices in a computer network so you take an example like a printer, a printer is connected to a computer network if there are 10 users. So all the 10 users can give a print command simultaneously. So here the operating system, it used to manage the number of users in a network and number of hardware resources. So similarly, it is allocates the device to a particular user and deallocates the devices to the particular user. That is the, that is the function of operating system. It keeps record of the devices and decides which process can use which device for how much time. This is the responsible of operating system. Next one is file management. So what is the meaning of, you know, what is a file? Now in computer system, everything is in the form of a file. So file management is another important function of operating system. So it keeps track of information, location, user and status, etc. So anything, if you say file in computer system, you will be having data like the file, date, time, size, everything, including file name. So this is one of the application. And 
allocates the resources and deallocates the resources. It keeps track of information, location, users, status, and so on. So anything with respect to the computer file, it keeps track of all the information. These grouping of resources are referred to as a file system. So these are all the activities on particular file referred as file system. The file on the system are stored in different directories and keep records of the status and locations of files, allocates and deallocation of resources, decides who gets the resources. Same point we are repeating here. So this is another function of operating system. In the next slide, some other functions or activities of operating system. One is security. So it is going to provide security to a computer system, maybe in the form of username and password and control over system performance. So it is going to control the system all together performance of a computer system. Next, job accounting. Job is in the sense process. So any particular process management and error detecting aids. In computer system, any of the hardware or software is not working, immediately it send a message to the user that is error detecting aids. Coordination between other software and users. So in a computer network, it used to coordinate among different users and different software and hardware resources. And booting process, it is also very, very important. So when you're on the computer, that is called booting the system. The OS is the first software to be loaded. So this is important activity in computer system. See, these are all different activities of operating system. Students, so far we have discussed about the operating system, definitions, functions, and activities, and types of operating system. So in the next session, we'll talk about process management, one of the function of operating system. Thank you very much.